Hi, this is Dan from Rock Paracord. Today I'm going to be making a adjustable shotgun sling. So I have uh, my black and tan 550 cord here, uh, my two uh, shotgun sling attachments, swivel attachments, and then uh, for the adjustable part, I have uh, webbing here with uh, two plastic uh, connectors, and if uh, you want to make this yourself all it is is just a uh, rectangular piece and then you have uh, another plastic piece with the uh, rectangle with the uh, bar going through the middle and then you sew onto the middle and then just loop it through and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach once I figure out the length I'm going to attach one of the uh, um, swivel points there and then I'll attach the uh, paracord here and then the other uh, swivel to the paracord so I'll get started here a lot of it will be the same as the other shotgun slings I've done so uh, I won't go into detail too much about the double cobra weave so let's get started okay so, the tan is going to be in the middle, so here I believe I have about uh, 30 feet, 30 feet of this tan, and so the middle piece you're going to have uh, folded in half. It's going to go in the middle of your attachment point here. Tighten it down real good. Okay, then you take your other color. Mine is black, and you're actually going to uh, not fold this one in half. You're going to kind of fold it into double the length that you want of the sling. So you got to kind of uh, guesstimate <clears throat> at first, and then you can uh, change it later. I got my stuff all tangled up here. Alright, so there's the other one. And then on the other outside, you're going to do the same thing. And the shorter end, when you fold it over, the shorter end is going to be on the inside. dealing with this much paracord it's real easy to get it all tangled up pull real tight all right so you got your three knots here on one end and then what you're going to do is you're going to attach it to this on the other end and so I'll get that all set up and then uh, show you how I do it okay so I'm uh, trying something new here I got my uh, GoPro strapped to my head 
and now I'm trying to see if uh, it'll make a good video for you guys alright so what I've done is I've taken the two middle pieces they're here and I've run them down and I want to make a sling that's 30 inches long and then I double these over right here and run them back up towards my towards my knots and then what I'm gonna do is I will tuck them in underneath here so let me go ahead and do that and one thing you want to make sure is that you tuck the correct side in and then just just put them in there and then you can adjust the length and everything later now uh, if you notice here I got my iPad going and I can kind of see what I'm doing and so but there is kind of an echo because there's a delay so <clears throat> you may hear me say things twice maybe I can just turn the volume down that might work there we go so now you won't hear me alright so I have them tucked in a little bit and I may need to tighten them down once I figure out the length here alright so I do need to pull them a little tighter because I have this set at where I want it so these need to go up until they're tight So now they're pretty tight and I have it uh, held here with uh, my forceps. Alright, so it's attached with the webbing and then I have all my excess down here. So remember the middle two here, the middle two here are the ones you're going to use to loop around and then the outside ones are going to be super long and then you have your middle that's going to be super long. So now I can take this off and that hopefully is going to stay. Now one thing uh, I'm going to rig up here is I have some inner strand here and what I'm going to do to hold this in tight I'm just going to So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start uh, weaving it through. These two are going to stay put here in the middle and uh, you're just going to loop around with your inside color and come back around. And again, you got lots of excess paracord here. Alright, pull that tight. And this comes back over and under. Pull that nice and tight. Try not to get my string here weaved in there. On second thought, I wouldn't suggest the string. It's pretty annoying. <clears throat> Trying to keep everything untangled. It's pretty tough. Pull everything up nice and tight. So now you're going to take, I'm actually going to take this string off. 
nope don't do the string all right so then this piece that was on the left you're now going to pull over to the right okay well by now after seeing my other videos you should uh, know how to make this double cobra and then uh, we'll bring this one back loop it around and you'll just keep going and tying and tying and tying until you get down to the other end and then uh, once I get close down there I'll uh, get the camera going again alright so I got a little bit different view here for you I hung it on this uh, little knob here on the door and so uh, I was thinking you could probably see a little bit better what I was doing okay so again the middle strands is what you loop around and that's gonna loop around right here and then come back up and then it goes <clears throat> into the top knots that you did and then this excess will eventually be tucked back through here and go behind and um, <clears throat> These are your two uh, outsides, and then you'll use your two middle of the opposite color. Um, then again, that gives this a little bit of uh, something to grab onto. And then uh, you just, uh, if you don't mind standing up the whole time, you can just uh, start doing your weave this way. And then with it being up high, it uh, is good to keep everything untangled so I'll just do a few more knots here so you can see and everything uh, slides through pretty well and then uh, <clears throat> you can just go along tying your knots and take breaks every once in a while time this comes across here and then that if you do it the same way every time then it looks real nice on the back and it's all uh, you know symmetrical or whatever word you want to use all right so I'm down here at the end and one thing you notice is that uh, as I was weaving here the left side is uh, pretty close and the right side's a little bit longer so what you have to do is and this is probably one of the hardest parts is uh, grab a hold of this end over here and just pull the heck out of it and then work your hand all the way down till you get it nice and tight and as I pull it it'll uh, get closer and closer but you can't just pull it in one big pull you have to work it all the way down and those of you that have tried this have probably seen this all right and see one thing you can do is uh you don't have to weave it all the way and try and get it in these little small holes once you get very very close you can just pull it tight this way and i'm going to pull the other side and tight so now it's already tightening up I can do the right side here one more time Good 
the right side again. All right. So there, now we're uh, pretty much done with this part. And what we'll do now is loop these through here. Also loop these outside ones. One thing, uh, once I got close to the end, I realized I had a lot more paracord than needed. So, probably the ideal amount, and I can't remember what I told you at the beginning, but I might have told you the right length and then cut extra. So I would say if you're going to do one that's adjustable like this, and you're only going to make this about 30 inches long, I would probably use between 20 and 25 feet of the outside colors, so the black here, and then uh, 30 feet of the uh, middle color. And that uh, should do pretty good where you don't have too much waste. Alright, now this over here, you're going to do the same thing, tuck it in. And then we're going to uh, loop it through here, tuck it in, melt it, same thing over here. We're going to loop these over, tuck them in, melt it, and so uh, y'all should all know how to do that. I'll do that off camera and then uh, bring you back. Okay, now I got the uh, sewing machine ready to go, and the longest... I want this to be is uh, about 42 43 inches and then uh, you can shorten it up from there so what I'm gonna do here is I'll run this through the webbing to the desired length all right and then i'm gonna sew it on i'm just a beginner here with the uh sewing machine so if you have any pointers for me let me know there we go sewn on here and I'll just clip this clip this off and then get my lighter here and melt it so it doesn't get frayed Got this excess yarn off here. Alright, and there's that. Okay, so now you just slide this down, make it a little shorter, and you slide this back, make it a little longer. And there is your adjustable shotgun or rifle sling.